I'm going to talk about Queen Victoria. She was born in May 24 and died in January 22. She was a Queen of England and of Ireland from June 20 of 1837 until her death. She also had an additional title of Empress of India. Victoria was daughter of Prince Edward, Duke of Kent and Strater, the fourth son of King George III. Both the Duke of Kent and King George III died in 1820 and Victoria was raised under close supervision by her German born mother Princess Victoria of saxe coburg salford She took the throne at the age of 18 after her, her father and three br brothers died. Victoria married her first cousin Prince Albert of saxe coburg and Gotha in 1840. Their ninth children married into royal and noble families across the continent, tying them together and earning her the nickname the Grandmother of Europe. After Albert's death in 1861, she avoided public appear appearances. Her reign of 63 years and seven months, formerly the longest of any other British monarch and uh, of any female monarch in history, is known as the Victorian era. It was a period of industrial, cultural, political, scientific and military change with the United Kingdom. She was persuaded to open par Parliament in person in 1866 and 1867 but she was widely criticized for living in seclusion and quiet a strong republican movement developed. Seven attempts were made on Victoria's life between 1840 and 1882. Her cor courageous attitude towards these attacks greatly strengthened her popularity. In foreign policy, the Queen's influence during the Middle Years or her reign was generally used to support peace and reconciliation. In 1864, Victoria pressed her ministers not to intervene in the Prussia, Austria, Denmark war. On the Easter question in the 1870s, the issue of Britain's policy towards the declining Turkish Empire in Europe, Victoria believed that Britain, while pressing for necessary reforms, ought to awful Turkish hegemony as a bulwark of stability against Russia. Queen Victoria is associated with Britain's great age of industrial expansion, economic progress and especially empire. At her death it was said Britain had a world worldwide empire in which the sun never set. In conclusion, I think that Queen Victoria was one of the best queen in England because 